I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. If you don't already know, Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time against one opponent. So the four player rules have been modified. The rules end scoring. If you want to know more, look for a link in the video description below. The focus of this exercise is to force hands. There's a couple reasons why you might want to do this. First, force yourself to play hands that you might not normally think about. And also, if you ever have a chance to play in a tournament, they have prizes, usually for the first hand in each category on the card. Train yourself to play hands in pre-selected categories. You might just come home a winner. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls and we're going to force hands in these categories. We'll alternate between player one and player two. Player one gets 28 tiles, player two, 27. Okay, we have a joker, a flower, Almost news, white dragon. One, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Pung of fives, pair of eights in cracks. In dots, we have a pair of threes and a pair of sixes and an eight. In bams, we have a one bam, two, four, seven, eight, nine. Pairs in twos and nines. If these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the fives and the multiples, which are six and eight. So I would focus here on consecutive run and like numbers with eights. We're gonna need flowers. Five, six, seven, mix suits, second hand down. And here we could do like numbers with eights, either the first or second hand, and use all this for joker bait. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play two, four, six, eight. There are more tiles with two, four, six, eight. So let's just see if we can come up with a different plan because that's a lot of discards. So here's two, four, six, eight using multiples. Then we have five, eight, five, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, nine, seven, eight, nine. These threes don't really help. So we have two, four, six, eight, fourth hand down. And then up here, we have seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. We don't have odds. Oh, we do have odds. Okay, what about five, seven, seven, nine? That's still a lot of discards. 
five, seven, seven, nine, evens and odds. So we have evens and odds or consecutive run and like numbers. I don't think there's a right or wrong here. Here we have less joker bait. But that's because we're using the multiples. Here's another one though, just one less multiple to give away. So I wonder, let's put these here and these down here. So these are gonna be tiles that are most likely not going to be in exposures. I would probably discard those first, hold these, then discard these down here. So focus here for discards, then these as we gather. Odds and evens. There's another thing we could potentially do, and that is the concealed hand. So maybe hold this. This actually uses more tiles. That's a little better, actually. One, three, five, we need a five bam, seven, nine. We do have one, three, five, seven, nine here as well. No gaps. We have three multiples again. So I think I would start here, hold these for joker bait. Focus two, four, six, eight, fourth hand down. Here, maybe the concealed hand. And just hold these as plan B. Anytime you have a lot of discards, come up with plan B. Rework it and pick the categories that use the most of your multiples. So I think this is what I would do. So instead of consecutive run and like numbers, I think we were gonna do five, six, seven, and then like numbers with eights. Here we're using way more tiles for evens and odds. Evens and odds. Okay, we've got jokers, a flower, almost news, pair of east. Green, red, pung of white dragons. Seven, eight in cracks, singles. Here we have one, two, five, six, seven, pung of two dots. Two, three, four, eight, nine, pair of nine bams. If these were your tiles, which would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run and a year hand. Primarily because we have only one flower. Because there is potential for a quint with twos and dragons. But we need a quint of flowers. So I think I would force a year hand with all these twos and dragons and then consecutive run. We could play news concealed or we could play the first year hand with twos. Look for two cracks. Same thing for the third hand down. I would hold 
the dragons, at least the red and green in case that second hand comes in. So I would just hold all of these for the year category and see what comes in. And then down here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe that's the fifth hand down. Pear, 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 Kong, Kong. These can probably go. There's some potential for six, seven, eight, nine. So I'd probably hold that eight for a while. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight, nine. I would discard these first. Gather year tiles, consecutive run. Okay, this will be interesting. So we have three jokers, a flower, green and white dragon. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. Pairs of three, five, seven, nine. Oh, yeah, three, seven, nine, single five. Pair of ones and pair of sixes. Then here we have two, eight, nine, and wins. Pung of East, West, and South. We need to make like numbers and quince work here. So I would probably focus on a like number potential first. Probably ones with dragons. And I would just hold ones and dragons. Maybe hold the sixes in case sixes come in instead of ones. And then... We could use this for the like number hand and then focus here on the five, seven, nine quint. Quint, Kong, quint. Discard all these. Joker bait, joker bait. Wins usually are not good joker bait. I would let these go first, see what happens with the West, and focus like this. Five, seven, nine, quint, like numbers with ones or sixes. I suppose we could do like numbers with threes and see which one comes in. The other thing I was thinking is maybe what we could do is do the one, three, five quint and like numbers with nines. We have a red dragon here, so this green drag or the white dragon wouldn't be so helpful. And then use this for joker bait. I think the five, seven, nine is a little stronger. So maybe hold the nine, let these go. This would take work, but there are possibilities there. I would discard those first, hold these for either a different like number potential or joker bait. Like numbers and quince. American Mahjong is very flexible. 
And when you have all those tiles playing Siamese Mahjong, you can make just about anything work. It's still a good idea to play at the category level for as long as possible. If you happen to have a lot of discards, make a plan B. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.